This must be for me, the hot seat. All right, let's do this. I am Noah Olson, and I am an eight-time CrossFit Games athlete. Hermosa Beach once again plays host to the opening event of the 2015 Reebok CrossFit Games. I had high hopes in 2015, 2014 was my first year at the Games. I did relatively well, so going into this season of training, I was like, this is it. This could be my year. Trying to chase down Noah Olson. The former water polo, polo player. At this point, I had no idea that Chad was that close to me. That's Chad McKay, and McKay might have a chance to chase down Noah Olson. As we're running, he kind of gets neck and neck with me that I realized it was going to be a sprint off. Okay, this was going to be a race at the beach for third place. There were probably three seconds left, and you could see him kind of sputter out a little bit, and I was able to just hold him off. Final race up the beach for Chad McKay and Noah Olson. Third place on the line. And honestly, it wasn't until the last few seconds that I could feel him fade by like two steps that I knew I was gonna be able to close it out and win. And Olsen collapsing over the finish line. As he so it was, it was pretty down to the wire. In lane number nine, Noah Olsen. So Mary in 2019 was a special one. I was in second place overall. I knew that this was a potentially uh, good workout for me, and if I could execute well enough, there was a chance I could catapult myself into the overall lead. I'm sure Matt was probably pretty frustrated in that moment. Not only had I got him in the event, but it also put me in the lead over him, which was something that he hadn't experienced in a long time. This moment right here was so special. It's one of those moments where everything was just perfect. It was a packed coliseum, thousands of people, really, really high energy. In the moment was doing everything that I could to really soak that all in. I wanted it to be a powerful, positive memory that I could look back on for the rest of my life. And here we are doing just that. Atalanta is underway. No one should try this at Yeah, when do, we get, when do we get to see the warning, the warning labels? On? At the end of the 2020 games, Atalanta was one of the hardest events that I'd ever done and probably the most physically exhausted that I had been going into any event. Noah Olsen looking to finish on the podium for the second straight year. At this point in the games, admittedly, I was already pretty banged up uh, physically, super duper sore and tired. And even like my spirit kind of defeated, I was hoping to have done a lot better throughout the weekend. Noel Olson putting the finishing touches on his set of 200 pistols and he will move to the pull up bar. I hadn't even considered the fact that if I had won the event, it could potentially bump me up onto the podium. And I think as I was going, as I got out to this run, I kind of realized that. And now Noah Olson just trying to hang on to whatever hope he has of making it to the podium. So frustrating knowing that if I had run a little bit faster for the final 800 meters, that would have put me back on the podium for the second year in a row. That's where I feel torn in reflection. 540 total points for Olson right now. It's one of those what could have been things, you know? Day number two, moving day here in the Atlantic Regional. I love regionals. I have some of my most special memories from competing. Noah Olsen sprinting up and over those handstand obstacles. He might as well have shoes on his hands. He made that look so easy. One of the cool things about regionals, people were able to set world records. I knew that it was one where I could possibly push the pace and uh, get that record, so I was really gunning for it. And if I executed well and everything went according to plan, I could have pulled it off. Olsen has a sizable lead on Ben Smith. I think I got a muscle up no rep, which doesn't sound like a lot. I got a couple pistol no reps, and the event record was maybe two or three seconds behind when I finished. And Noah Olsen is on pace to possibly beat that. Look at the speed. And that one muscle of no rep or the one pistol no rep are more than enough to be the difference maker. He will not get the event record, but he will set the time wow. to beat. Noah Olsen is 100 points richer with an event win. Even though it was an event win and it was awesome, it was bittersweet because world record sounds kind of cool. Rich Froning coming into this event in 12th place, but he's chasing a rookie, Noah Olsen, on top of the leaderboard through five events. From the outside, looking in at that point, I was just a fanboy for years, watching 
all of these guys on YouTube trying to do what they did so I could be in the position that they were in. And I'm so impressed with Noah Olson. He's just come out of nowhere. Seriously, in, in 2014, it was probably the coolest lineup of games athletes. Jason Kalipa, Rich Froning, Tommy Hackenbrook. The fact that I got to line up against them was really special. I'll definitely always remember and appreciate that. Jason Kalipa slowing down, and that might open the door for Josh Bridges. Bridges threw one more muscle up. Bridges threw two. It's going to be Josh Bridges. Oh. If the athletes in our day are able to have a positive impact on some other young and up-and-comers, the way that those guys positively impacted me, then that would make my career in this sport even more meaningful. So I hope that's the case.